What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the second video of the new year, uh, hope everybody had um, a great start to the new year, um, for Juve, it is a good start to the new year, you know, we entered the new year with a positive, uh, we were going to recap December, because December was a key month, a very key month, and if you look at the table, I will you will you will see why. Obviously, um, we go into January with a lot of options, with a lot of things to uh, discuss. But this is a recap of December, and I think we should call it, you know, the, the, the Scudetto Belief Month, basically, because that's what it is. Uh, so we will get into it. Like the video, do it now. Let's let's get this like. I'm gonna set goals in 24. So the goal for this video is 50 likes. You know, over. 400, 500 people watch every single video, so it shouldn't be, actually we should be getting 400 likes. If you see this, like the video. So I'm gonna set goals this season. Let's start with 50 likes on this video. I would really appreciate that. And let's get straight into it. Okay, December, like I said, the Scudetto Belief Month, basically. Um, we were on a run, but you start the, the, the new year, off, like you, you you finish November with drawing Inter at home. And everybody was like, okay, you can keep up with Inter, I guess. Uh, and then you go to Monza. Tricky game, and you must win that game. And I think that was probably one of the the worst games of the run because like you got dominated in possession by Monza. You got that goal, uh, but still, it felt like... It wasn't a good performance, but you're going to win that game. And then Monza get that goal, and you're like, oh, boy, this is not it. And that was the first sign of this is going to fall. Not fall, but, like, this is it, I guess. However, I think that team at that moment in time had a different opinion. And Rabiot was key in that game because he took on that ball, and he was like, I'm not going to fall down, look for the f foul, cut back, cut it back, whatever. I'm going to beat this guy. And I'm going to put it in. And that's what we did. And we fought hard. We probably shouldn't have not won that game. We didn't really deserve to win that game. But we did. And you're, if you're in a title race, you win games, you shouldn't be winning. And we won that game. We won that game. And I was like, okay, interesting. You know, very interesting. Because then you have Napoli at home. Napoli on bad form. Um, they're terrible this season. Uh, maybe things will change for them, but they're not good. Um, and you start that first half and you're like... Oh, we got lucky. We got lucky. And you're like, uh, this Roma, like the Monza thing, uh, we ran out of luck from Monza, basically. We d we did run out of luck from Monza. And you're like, uh, the performance is the same. But you're probably not going to get away with it, I guess. But we did get away with it because that second half, we cleaned things up. We didn't give away anything. You got that Gatti goal. Again, Gatti, back to back in, in the month. Uh, of December, Monza and Napoli, two winning goals, two big goals, goals we needed because we're not going to win that game otherwise. And you beat Napoli, probably in a, in a more difficult fashion than it should be considering how Napoli were playing. But you're like, okay, that's good. Then you go to Genoa and that's a, a game where I had big issues uh, with and I still have because you cannot win them all. And that's what Allegri said. And I fully agree with that. You cannot win them all. Fair. However, you can try to win them all. I don't didn't have a feeling we really tried. Like we tried, but it was disorganized. It was all over the place, and that remains my issue. Like we don't have a plan to fall back on. You know, if things are not going our way, it's tough. We need that one moment. If that moment's not coming, like we we cannot force it the way we did against Geno. And it did have an issue. I was like, I was pissed because I was like, this is coming. Like, and more of these games will will arrive they will come our way and yes again you can not win all the games however the way that game went and the way we failed to really break down Genoa was like these games are coming our way again especially away from home we need to find a solution to break them down and that's my only concern that was my big concern um and I was really disappointed by that result um then you go to Frosinone again like you get that goal from Yildiz, extremely happy, like, this is also the Yildiz month, you know, Chiesa down, everybody's like, ugh, I said no excuses, Yildiz comes in, and 
he is a player. Like he is a player. He can play for us. I think that's very obvious now. He has things to learn, but that's fine. Allegri absolutely loves him, and that's very positive because now you know I have an extra player there. You know, I really do. First we were like, yeah, he can play. He got minutes. Play him as a striker, whatever. But now he plays without fear. He plays like I belong here. I'm gonna take this opportunity, and he took that opportunity even against Roma. He took that. It, he took that so much that even when when uh, Keza came on, he he pushed, and that's good. Competition pushed each other. Uh, but that first Nori game, you know, it was clean. Like we dominated first half. If enough for Kostic, we've been up two goals, and then you can see that goal again, and you're like, man. What's happening with the back line? And it's not terrible, but like you can see it against Monzo, you can see it against Genoa, you can see it against Frosinone. It all coincides with Danilo coming back in the team who isn't been playing well. And you're like, we're solid, but there are little cracks here and there. And those cracks could potentially cause a title race. However, and that's what I also like, Vlaovic, not a good moment, came on. Missed that chance, and everybody was like, oh, here we go again. Flaovic, he's going to mess this one up. He picked himself up that game. He got a brilliant goal. One goal that got disallowed, and you're like, that's the Flaovic we need. You know, So a lot of ups and downs in this month. And then Roma comes. Vlaovic plays excellent. He does play excellent. He doesn't get that goal, but the hold-up, he was so important for that team. And the, the mindset he had was what it needs to be. No emotions, just focused on the task, play for that team. It looked better. It really did. That, the goals will come. They will come. But he had a good game all around. And like I said, like it's a weird month. You know, you have performances of players that fluctuate. And you have performances as a team that fluctuate. You know, you get points where you shouldn't be getting points, three points. And then you don't get the points because, well, the luck ran out that day. It, it did. Against Genoa, we didn't really create much besides Chiesa. And then the fluky Rabbi, uh, Bremer corner, which he didn't even knew what was going, uh, what was happening. But in general, that's a scudetto push month because if you look at the at the at the um, standings, Inter capitalized on us dropping points against Genoa. They did. It was for us to respond. They dropped points against Inter. I said before the game. Now it's key to be like okay. Are we a team with the right mindset? Is the team mentally strong enough to get into the Roma game and be like, we need to put pressure on Inter? We do. We need to put pressure on Inter, especially after what Acerbi said. Acerbi comes out and he starts, I don't know what he starts saying. I've seen Inter fans being really pissed. But I would be pissed saying, oh, we're not the favorites. I see everybody talking about it. Look at Juve. They spent 200 million on players we got two or three years ago. And we are with free agents. We signed free agents when we dominated the league for nine years. So that's not an excuse. And I was like, that's weird from Inter. So that means they're in the locker room. They're talking about it. They're like, okay, we're not going to cruise through this title. We need to stay on point. We didn't do that two years ago when Inzaghi had a completely blackout month and Milan took over, basically. They know that cannot happen. And it's putting pressure on them. And that's what we needed to do, put pressure. And we did that against Roma. We did it clean in our way. And we got that win. We got a very important win. And as you can see, that title, that uh, like top four, you cannot really discuss that anymore. You have Chesney saying, yeah, that was the goal. But if you look at it now, it's done. Uh, like Things change. Two points off the top. We are Juve. We haven't won the title for two, three years now. We need to win it. We're in it. We need to push for it. I love that from Chesney. And you look at if you look at the standings, the top four is 10 points. You assume, you're you assuming that Fiorentina, Bologna, Atalanta, they're going to drop more points. You know, they are going to drop points. Atalanta already lost seven games. You know, uh, Bologna lost three, got dunked on by Udinese on the last day of the year, basically. Fiorentina, you, you expect these teams to fall off a little bit. They're going to be there, fall off. You expect Napoli to be a bit better, Roma, Lazio, but they're going to fight under each other, uh, with each other. If you look at Milan, you expect them to pick up? I do, because I do like a lot of players in their squad. They have a lot of potential. I think they will gel. They will push on. Uh, but for now, if you look at the tie, at, at the standings, it's us and Inter. It is us and Inter. And it's a good side. It's beautiful to see. Uh, but we cannot rest now. We cannot rest. We need to push on. 
quick look ahead to January. Obviously, Coppa Italia on my birthday against Sanitana. But on the, in the league, we play Sunday away from Sanitana, away to Sanitana. Not an easy game. They've been playing well, so we need to keep up with, with that. You, know, we, you cannot... That, that's not a given that game, especially if you play them two days before. They get to know each other. You get to know each other a little bit more. You can anticipate things. You can do dif- things differently. Uh, but then you have Sassuolo at home, Lecce away, Empoli at home. Like that month of January could be a very good month because keep in mind, the first game of February, Inter Juve. So in January, you have Sanitana away, Sassuolo at home, Empoli uh, Lecce away and Empoli at home. So those are four very, very winnable games. Games we should be winning. And then you go into that game against Inter. And that will be a big, not the deciding thing, but that will be big. You know, if you lose, man, that's a big blow. But if you somehow win, that's a big blow to Inter as well. So something to look forward to. But for now, Let's enjoy this moment because I think a lot of people are not expecting us to be in this uh, in this uh, spot right now. So enjoy that. It is a Scudetto Belief Month, I think. And a lot of people do start to believe, me included, a little bit more each single time. Um, yeah, man. Like, enjoy it for now. Let's see what will happen on Sunday when we pick up Serie A again. Obviously, Coppa Italia first, but like Serie A talking. And let's see how we will uh, keep going. Um, but that's it for me. I will be back today with the first live of 24. So stay tuned for that. Other than that, enjoy your day. Uh, thanks for watching. Like the video and see you guys later on. Ciao.